As homeowners, we're becoming far more aware about our responsibilities to the planet. We all know we should reduce waste, recycle more, and use less energy. But how do we do it? And more importantly, why bother? An energy efficient house is not only friendlier to the environment, but it can also save us money. There are loads of things we can do to make our homes more energy efficient, but a lot of us are put off by the initial costs and the time it takes to recoup that investment. But the most important thing is not to think about saving just on your energy bills, but also increasing the overall property value. New research shows that three quarters of all homeowners in the UK consider energy efficiency to be a key consideration when buying a new home. But saying that, only 5% of all home sellers would consider improving the energy efficiency of their home before they put it on the market. Now, the government has scrapped home information packs, but one part of it is still a legal requirement the Energy Performance Certificate, or EPC. A potential buyer at a glance can see just how energy efficient a property is. So what can homeowners do to improve the energy efficiency of their home? I've brought you to this interesting converted church to take a look around and give you some top tips. One of the first things to talk about is insulation. It's one of the best ways of keeping the heat just where it's needed, and that's inside your home. But because heat rises, it's desperate to escape up through the floors and out through your roof. So to stop it, you have to put insulation between your floor joists, and up through the roof timbers up at high level. Now this is so easy, it's something that you can even do yourself to save money. And once in place, it has a life expectancy of over 40 years. No matter whether you live in a modern home or a period property like this, it's so important to use as much wall insulation as possible to reduce your carbon emissions as well as your energy bills. Windows are the biggest source of heat loss within a house, and if you've got single glazing, it really is time to change. Double glazing systems like the Pilkington Energy Care range can reduce heat loss by up to 90%, and for a typical detached home, can reduce your energy bills by over £400 a year. And for dirty windows like this, which can often be out of reach, you can even get self-cleaning glass. So we know how to keep heat inside of the house, but how do we generate it in the first place? You need to consider your type of boiler. Now in a standard gas heated home, nearly two thirds of the carbon emissions come from the boiler itself. Now if you have a new aerated condensing boiler, that converts 86% of its fuel into heat, whereas an old G-rated boiler converts only 65%. You probably already know that turning your heating down by just one degree saves energy and money. But having individual heating controls and room thermostats is a really easy way of controlling the comfort and temperature of your home. If you're not quite ready to make a big change when it comes to energy efficiency, there are lots of little things you can do to make a difference, like low energy light bulbs, dimmable switches and aerated appliances. And remember, you have to think about the long term. Energy efficiency is creeping up the list of must-have features for home buyers. So if you're thinking about moving on, make sure you tick all the boxes.